Good morning, yogis. It's lovely to be with you this morning. So glad you could join. Hi, Mary Rose. Hi, Dennis. Hi, JP. All right, well, let's go ahead and find our comfortable seat. Go ahead and close your eyes. You can sit cross-legged or even elevated up on a block or blanket if your hips are tight. Rest your hands to your thighs and begin tuning into your natural breath. Noticing your sit bones grounding you to the earth. And as you breathe in, feel yourself growing a little bit taller, noticing the sides of your waist beginning to expand. Pausing at the top of each inhale. And as you exhale, notice the space that you are creating inside not only the body, but also the mind. Gradually beginning to deepen your breath, slowing down, turning inward. Letting go to this here now. I'd like to share a quote today from Hazrat Niyat Khan. It says, Some people look for a beautiful place, others make a place beautiful. And with that, let's bring our hands into Anjali Mudra in front of our hearts. Go ahead and set an intention for our practice today. Anything you wish, perhaps gratitude for yourself or for your practice or for simply showing up on your mat today, whatever you like. Now I invite you to join together in the sound of Om. Let's take a deep breath in. Oh. Slowly release your hands back to your thighs. Let her open your eyes. And today we're going to begin with alternate nostril breathing, Nadi Shodhana. And to start, we're going to bring our left hand into the uh, Jnana Mudra, which is basically make the okay sign, and then release the back of your hand to the thigh. The right hand will be in Jnana Mudra, I'm sorry, Vishnu Mudra. And this way, you'll just make the hang 10 sign. <laughs> and then you're going to bring that right mudra, that right hand in front of your nose, and you'll be using your right thumb to close the right nostril and the pinky to close and open the left nostril. So I'll guide us through this. You'll inhale to begin through both nostrils. And then exhale through the left nostril, closing the right with your thumb to the count of one, two, three, four. Inhale through the left nostril, one, two, three, four. Now close, hold your breath, two, three, four. And close the left nostril with your pinky. Exhale through the right. Two, three, four. Inhale right. Two, three, four. And hold your breath. Two, three, four. Close the right nostril and exhale through the left. Two, three, four. Inhale left, two, three, four. Hold your breath. 
Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Hold your breath. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Hold your breath. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Hold your breath. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Hold your breath. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Hold your breath. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Hold your breath. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Hold your breath. And release. Go ahead and take a couple of deep breaths in and out. Nadi Shodhana, or alternate nostril breath, is beautiful for centering and balancing the right and left hemispheres, the body and the brain, bringing us into the Sushumna Nadi. Beautiful. Let's go ahead now and start our asana practice. Inhaling, float the arms up. Exhale, turn to the right, anchor your hands in front and back of the body and slowly turn to look over your back shoulder. Breathe in here. And exhale fully. Inhale, lift the arms once more, turn back to center. Exhale, turn to the left, drop the arms, anchor the hands forward and back. Turn to look over your back shoulder. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale, lift up, turn to center. Exhale, step the hands forward and fold gently until you feel a bit of a stretch. That doesn't have to be very far at all. Just when you feel a stretch, breathing in, exhaling out, and then walk those hands back up, right? Open the arms, clasping the hands behind you now. Open the heart and the shoulders. You can drop the hands to the earth if they touch or toward the earth. Maybe look up a little bit. And then exhale, release the hands back to the shoulder, up to the thighs. Beautifully done. And now let's find our tabletop. Just find an all fours, stack the shoulders over the wrists and the hips over the knees. Knees are hip distance apart. Inhale, drop the belly, tilt the sit bones to the sky, open the heart and lift the gaze into cow pose. Exhale, drop the tail, round the spine, chin meets chest and cat. Inhale, belly drops back to cow. Exhale, round the spine, cat. Once more, inhale, cow.
Exhale, cat. Beautiful. And then resuming our neutral table, let's bring the knees to touch and press back into child's pose. Drop the forehead to the earth or onto a block if that feels better. Allow the arms just to drape to the earth overhead. Tuning back into your breath. Allow the earth to support you fully. Just breathe. This is a wonderful asana to take if you're feeling anxious or you have a lot of monkey mind, racing thoughts. This will slow down the mind and bring you peace and tranquility. You may stay where you are, or if you wish to take puppy pose, come back up and take the knees to distance. Begin to walk the hands forward. Drop the chest toward or to the earth, the forehead down or the chin down if you have the flexibility. And you can even tent the fingertops and lift the elbows or just leave the hands and elbows down. Breathe. Slowly we'll all come back into our table. And now let's tuck our toes and press ourselves up into our first downward dog. Just begin by pedaling out your feet, bending one knee and stretching the opposite heel toward the earth. And then switch. And just really give those toes a nice stretch, the calves, the hamstrings. Continuing to breathe deeply through the nose, maybe wagging your tail. And then find some stillness in your down dog. And if you're not used to taking down dog, you might need to acclimate and come in and out of it. That's totally fine. Never push yourself, be very easeful, and let everything unfold organically. Take child's pose anytime you wish or any other posture that you'd like to rest in if you need to. Reach those hips up toward the sky and the heels toward the earth. The eyes of the elbows are facing one another. And our next breath in will float the right leg up down dog split. Exhale, roll forward into a plank. And you can drop to your knees to take it back a notch. And let's all exhale all the way to the earth. Inhale to a cobra with the shoulders and elbows back. Exhale, lower, and come back into your child's pose. Beautiful. Take a couple of deep breaths. Very nice, everyone. Resuming our downward dog now. Tuck your toes, press up. Inhale, float the left leg high. Down dog split. Exhale, roll forward into your plank. Drop the knees if you wish. And this time lower either halfway or all the way to the earth. Inhale to your cobra or take up dog with the thighs and knees off the mat. Exhale, downward dog. Beautiful. Let's look to the top of our mat and let's take a slow walk all the way to the front, heel to toe, mindfully walk your way to the top. Take your feet hip distance apart, grab opposite elbows and fold in Uttanasana. Allow yourself to sway on the breath, 
If you wish, you can take tall blocks and place your hands on those for more support. And just let your head and neck hang nice and heavy. Maybe turn your head yes. Move your head no. And just let everything go. Let it all fall out the top of your head and just breathe. Feel the traction you're creating in your spine and in your neck. Slowly release the hands to the earth, heel toe of the feet together. And now bend the knees and roll up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Like a string of pearls, come all the way up into mountain pose. Beautiful. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Little back bend at the top, if you like. And then exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up once more. Exhale, sits us into our chair. Make sure those knees don't extend over the toes. So put the weight in the heels primarily. And if your shoulders feel Tight, you can bring hands into prayer instead in front of the heart. If you'd like to take awkward chair, lift off the heels onto the balls of the feet. And then from here, we'll transition into divers. As we straighten the legs, sweep the arms behind and bring the chest toward the earth, more parallel to the earth. Just do your best, doesn't have to look any certain way. Breathe. We bend the knees, sweep the arms back up overhead or into prayer. Back to awkward chair. And then lower the heels into regular chair. Well done. And push off the heels. Forward fold, beautiful. Inhale, look up, flat back, fingertips on the earth, or hands on shins. Exhale and fold. Let's step the right foot back, followed by the left, downward dog. And then inhale, rolls us forward into our plank. Drop the knees if you like. And exhale, lower halfway or all the way to the earth. Inhale to your cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Beautiful. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Beautiful. Inhale, the right leg floats up. Step that right foot forward between the hands. Spin the back heel down. Reach the arms up. Warrior one. Virabhadrasana one. You may leave the arms parallel and keep the head straight, gazing ahead, or interlace the hands with the index fingers pointing up. Maybe let your head hang back only if this feels okay in your neck. Inhale, lift the gaze if your head was back. Exhale, bows us forward with airplane arms behind, chest coming toward or to the front thigh. Inhale, lift back up, warrior one. Let's prepare for warrior three now. Launching onto the right foot. Lift the back leg up, body parallel to the earth. Arms either along the ears or hands in prayer for a mid-range option. Or for full support, bring the hands onto two tall blocks under the shoulders. Breathe. 
Releasing back to warrior one now. Great job. And now straightening the legs, bring your back foot in, heel toe it a touch closer to 45 degrees. As we set up for pyramid pose, taking opposite wrists or elbows behind the back, or maybe even reverse prayer behind the back. Open the heart as you inhale, head back. Exhale, bow forward over the right leg. You can bend your knees as much as you might need, and if you prefer, bring the hands onto the floor or blocks. Excellent, everyone. Inhale, floats us back up slowly, gently. Release the arms very gently back to the sky. And then exhale, release the hands down to frame the front foot and step back, downward dog. Straight away, we'll release onto the right knee and you can also come onto the side of the right foot. We're taking our side plank. Take the left arm up to the sky. So release onto the right knee or onto the side of the right foot, your choice. Lift the left arm up to the sky. Great job. If you want, you can challenge yourself perhaps a little more by lifting the left leg off the other. Stay here or take a flip of the dog by releasing the left foot a little behind you and the left arm overhead. Optional. And then we'll come back around into our downward dog. Beautiful yogis. Take a rest here or in child pose or move through a vinyasa. And a vinyasa can always be scaled back by dropping the knees and just taking cobras and moving into child's pose. Or you can amp it up a little or just take a rest through the vinyasas by taking child pose for the whole thing. We'll meet in downward dog. On our next inhale, we'll float the left leg high, down dog split. Step the left foot forward between the hands, spin the back heel down. Reach the arms up, warrior one. Again, you can just keep those arms parallel, gaze straight, or add the interlaced hands and head back. Preparing for humble warrior, bowing forward with airplane arms behind, chest toward the front thigh. Inhale, lift up, back to warrior one. Transitioning to warrior three, launch onto the left foot and bow forward, lifting the right leg off the earth. Arms along the ears or hands in prayer or on tall blocks under the shoulders. Releasing back to warrior one. Well done. And now straighten the legs, bring the back foot in to 45 degrees. Drop the arms and take opposite wrists or elbows for prayer. Inhale, head back, exhale and fold. Beautiful, breathe. Coming back to the mantra of the breath and off the monkey mind.
we can safely ignore all thoughts, <laughs> always. Whether they're quote positive or negative, they're never helpful. Inhale, lift all the way up. Release the arms to the sky. And then take those hands down, frame the front foot, step back, downward dog. Great job. Now let's release onto the left knee or the side of the left foot, taking our side plank, reach the right arm up. Stay here or maybe take that right leg up too. And flip your dog if you really want to challenge. Take the right foot a little behind. You can do this even if you're on your left knee. And the right arm overhead. And resuming our downward dog. Beautiful. Take a rest in child's pose or in down dog or move through your vinyasa. Move at your own pace, no rush. Beautiful choices, everyone. Breathing wherever you are, knowing wherever you are is the perfect place to be. From downward dog, let's look to the top of our mat. From here, we'll take a walk or two steps or maybe even a hop to the top. Inhale, look up, flat back, fingertips on the earth or hands on shins. Exhale and bow. Inhale, reverse one, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale and sit back into your chair. Again, put all the weight in your heels. Keep those knees from extending over the toes. And maybe lift off the heels to the balls of the feet for awkward chair. Let's straighten the legs and sweep the arms behind into divers once again. Beautiful. Chest is parallel to the earth or coming to that. It's okay if it's not there, it's just our intention. And then we bend the knees, weave the arms back up into awkward chair. And lower the heels now down into regular chair. And push off the heels. Great job. Forward fold. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale and bow. Step the left foot behind, spin the heel down, arms lift up, and then take the arms wide, warrior two. Opening the hips, the feet are heel to arch in alignment. Looking over the right fingertips. Beautiful. So we have a nice deep bend in our front knee. And glance down, make sure you can see your front big toe, and that will ensure your knee isn't twerking in. Breathe. Let's flip the front palm and bring the left arm behind the back. And now tilt back, reversing your warrior. Inhale, lift back to warrior two. Exhale, side angle, bring the right forearm to the front thigh, left arm along the ear, looking up underneath your top arm. Great job. You can alternatively leave the left hand on the hip. If you'd like to take it further, you can drop the hand, the right hand to the earth or to a block. You can also take a half or full bind. 
And now preparing for triangle. We'll straighten the right leg and release the right hand to our shin, lifting the left arm up to the sky. You can also put the right hand on a block. Turning to look up toward that left hand. Inhale, lift all the way up now. Arms wide. And then exhale, tilt back, reversing your triangle. Drop the left hand to the back leg, right arm overhead. Inhale, lift up once again, arms wide. And now prepare for half moon, this is a bit challenging. Heel toe your back foot in a bit. And then march onto the right foot. Take your right hand down to the ground, onto a block or to the floor. And start to lift the back leg off the earth. Left hand reaches to the sky or leave the left hand on your hip. Breathe and just do your best. It'll all unfold organically. Don't push yourself. Beautiful, breathe. And now we'll release slowly back to warrior two. And bending the front knee, looking over the right fingertips once again. Nice job. Let's straighten the legs. Shorten your stance a little bit by heel toeing the back leg in. And now prepare to revolve your triangle. Take the right arm behind and bring the left arm forward. Start to turn and twist. Drop that left hand to either side of your front leg using a block is great and reach the right arm up to the sky turn your gaze to look up toward your right hand you can also bring the left hand onto your shin breathe beautiful Let's drop the gaze if it's not already down and come all the way up on the inhale, circling the arms around and back to warrior two, we bend the front thigh. Cartwheeling the hands down now to frame the front foot. Step back, downward dog. Beautiful. You guys are doing so beautifully. Take a rest here or move through vinyasa. Just listen to your body. We'll meet in downward dog. No rush, take your time. Great job. Breathe. Let's look to the top of our mat. Resuming our downward dog, we'll look to the top of our mat. We'll take another walk, two steps, or hop to the top. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, and bow. Inhale, reverse one, reach the arms up. Exhale, the hands find the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. And let's shift our weight onto our left foot, bending the right knee. We'll go ahead and drop the hands into prayer and we'll set up for tree pose by taking the knee out to the side and taking your toes to either the ankle or the calf or inner thigh. If you feel steady, you may extend your branches up to the sky. In Vrikshasana, tree pose. So 
So the sole of the foot is either at the inner thigh or the toes are at the calf, or you can have the toes on the ground, just working on balance. Breathe deeply. And now release the foot back to the earth, finding your mountain pose. Let's close our eyes for a moment. Bring one hand to your heart, one to your belly. Go ahead and recall the intention that you set at the beginning of practice. As you breathe in, embody it into every cell of your being. And as you exhale, release it out into the world, knowing that which we let go, we receive. Fluttering open your eyes. Let's prepare for a tree on the other side. Bend the left knee, placing weight on the right foot. Take your hands back to prayer. And then swivel the knee out to the side and take those toes either on the earth or to the ankle, calf, or sole of the foot to the inner thigh. And if you wish, if you feel steady, extend your branches up to the sky. You can even look up for an extra bit of challenge here. Breathe wherever you are. Exhale, come back out. Great job. Inhale, the arms lift up. Exhale, pull the hands through the midline and fold. Inhale, look up, flat back. Things are changing now. Exhale, bow. And step the right foot behind. Spin the back heel down, lift the arms up and take the arm wide, warrior two, other side. Stack the shoulders over the hips, nice deep lunge in the front leg, and then swivel your gaze to look over your left fingertops. Glance down, make sure you can see the front big toe, and embrace the warrior within, the peace, the power, your higher self that never suffers the awareness that you are, nothing and everything. We can make this shift from ego to awareness in every moment, and it's a life-changing experience. No externals need to change when we just shift our internal compass to who we really are, awareness. Flip the front palm, bring the right hand behind the back and tilt back, reverse your warrior. Inhale back up, warrior two. Exhale, side angle, forearm to front thigh. Right hand either on the hip or the arms along the ear. Stay here, or you could take it further by dropping the left hand to a block with the earth. And you may even take a half or full bind. Just stay with what feels easeful in your body where you can breathe comfortably. Transition into triangle. We'll straighten the front leg and reach the arms to the sky and the earth. Breathe. Inhale, lift all the way up, keeping the legs straight, arms are wide, and then exhale, tilt back and reverse your triangle.
Inhale, lift. Exhale, prepare for half moon. Shorten your stance as you heel toe that back foot in and launch onto the left. Release the left hand to the earth for a block and lift the back leg up to this parallel with the earth. The right hand reaches for the sky, or you can always leave the right hand on your hip. Breathe. Beautiful. Slowly, we'll release back into warrior two. And now straighten the legs. Prepare for revolve triangle. Sweep the left arm behind. Right arm comes forward. Turn and twist as you drop that hand to either side of the left leg and look up, reaching the left hand to the sky or leave the left hand on your hip. Great job, guys. Let's prepare to return to warrior two. Circle the arms around as you come up. Beautiful. And now let's turn to the side of our mat. Bring the feet parallel. Take the hands to the hips. And we'll come to a flat back. Preparing for wide-legged forward fold. Release the left hand under the face on the earth, and then just turn to the right, look up as you extend the right arm to the sky in a little twist before we fold. Beautiful, exhale, drop the right hand to the earth under your face, and lift that left arm up to the sky, turning to look up to the Left hand as it reaches. Exhale, release the left hand down now and take locks if you like under your hands. Align those fingertips with the toes. Pour the crown of the head toward the earth. Bend your knees as much as you might need to here. And Enjoy this beautiful reversal of blood flow into the brain as we stimulate the Sahasrara chakra, the crown. If you like, you can float up into tripod headstand, otherwise just stay where you are. And then meet us back in wide-legged forward fold. If you took tripod, and stand. Inhale, we'll all come back to a flat back and bring the hands to the hips. Take a breath to recalibrate and then inhale and lift all the way up. Beautiful. Reach the arms up to the sky. Heel toe the feet a bit closer before pivoting to the front of our mat and then releasing the hands down to frame the front foot, step back, downward dog. Take a rest here or in child's pose or if you wish, move through a final vinyasa. And again, a vinyasa is just rolling forward into plank. You can drop your knees to take it back a notch lower halfway or all the way to the earth. Inhale to either a cobra or an up dog. Exhale back to down dog or to child's pose. And then meet in down dog if you're not there already. Breathe.
remembering that the journey is the goal. Presence is the goal. That's it. We never arrive anywhere. And now let's release down onto our knees and press back to child's pose. From here, we'll roll up to sit on our heels. And we're going to do a little bit of a headstand preparation. We can all do this. There are lots of phases to it. And just stay with the one that feels natural and comfortable for your body. So we'll start in tabletop. Stacking the shoulders over the wrist and hips over the knees. And then just lower the crown of the head to the earth. Bring the hands between the head and the knees so that the elbows are at right angles. Now, this is a great place to stay. So if you're not used to practicing headstand, just stay here. You're getting a beautiful inversion, stimulating the crown chakra. You come out into child's pose because it takes acclimation. If you feel comfortable with this and you'd like to take it to the next stage, tuck your toes and straighten your legs. More intense of an inversion. And just stay with this if this is enough for you. The next phase would be to bring the right shin onto the right tricep and then switch, take the left shin to the left tricep. If you feel comfortable with that, you can try bringing both shins up to both triceps into full tripod egg headstand. And if you've been doing this for years, you can float all the way up into full tripod headstand. Again, come out as soon as you need from whichever phase feels right in your body today and rest in child's pose. This is one of the king poses in asana yoga, asana. We'll come back out the way we came in. And meet in child's pose, beautiful yogis. From child's pose, we'll roll back up to sit on our heels and then sit over to one side, extend the legs forward. In Dandasana, staff pose. Inhale, lift the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward in Paschimottanasana. Forward fold, relaxing the shoulders out of the ears. Beautiful. Breathe. Inhale, lift up slowly. Release the arms back to the earth. And now bending the right knee, setting up for seated twist. You can leave the right foot inside or take it to the outside of the left leg. If you want to take it even further, you can also bend the left knee or if you prefer, leave that straight. Anchor the right hand behind you and lift the left arm up to the sky. And then turn to the right, either hook your elbow or arm over that right thigh and gently turn to look over your back shoulder. Don't push it, just be gentle with breathe. Then take an optional bind. Slowly unwind, take your counter twist the other way. Beautiful, drop the forehead toward the earth. Inhale, lift up, 
Great job. Unwind. Straighten the legs back into Dandasana. Stop. And now bend the left knee. Take the foot to the inside or outside of the right leg. Keep the right leg straight or bend that knee as well. Anchor the left hand behind you. Reach the right arm to the sky. And twist to the left, hooking your elbow or arm. And looking over the right, I'm sorry, left shoulder. Great job. Perfect, everyone. Breathe. Slowly unwind to the right. Drop the forehead toward the earth. Taking your counter twist. Inhale, lift up. Come cross the legs. And then let's scoot forward so that we can roll down onto our backs with ease, lift the arms or use the hands on the earth for support and roll down one vertebrae at a time, like a string of pearls. Back to the earth. From here, we'll lift our legs up to the sky in waterfall. And this is also called legs up the wall, but we don't have a wall here. So it's just waterfall. This is incredibly balancing to the nervous system. You can close your eyes. This is rejuvenating, restorative. Just breathe. If you've got a block, you can put it under your sacrum for more lift. And just let yourself relax completely as you breathe. If you are interested in something a little more assertive, feel free to take shoulder stand here. Now we'll prepare for plow pose and we will all float our legs overhead, dropping the feet toward or to the earth behind us. Breathe. And then slowly come back down to the earth. Preparing for fish pose now. We're going to bring the hands underneath the buttocks, straighten the legs and lift up onto the forearms, dropping those elbows to the earth. Puff the chest out like a fish and then Lower the crown of the head toward or to the earth. Breathe. Slowly release out. Come back down to the earth. Great job. And now bend those knees once again. Take the feet hip distance apart. And cross the right leg over the left, preparing for supine pigeon. You can just stay there or for a little extra stretch, clasp the hands behind the left thigh and coax that shin closer to the chest using the right elbow to press the right knee away from you for more stretch. Just breathe here. Exhale and we'll cross the legs the other way. Release, take the left shin over the right leg and Maybe interlace the hands behind the right thigh and coax that left shin closer to your chest. Just be gentle as always, breathe.
And release. Great job. And taking happy baby now. We'll bring the hands uh, either to the backs of the knees or peace fingers around the big toes. And just rock here like a happy baby does. Releasing the low back. And return to center, draw the knees to touch. And then on an exhale, drop those knees over to the left. Look over your right shoulder in our supine twist. Pressing each shoulder into the earth equally. Close your eyes and just let go and breathe. And cross the legs, lift the knees back to the center line. And then exhale, drop the knees over to the right. Look over your opposite shoulder again. Let go, breathe. You've unblocked all the stagnation in the system. The prana is flowing freely. The chakras are spinning beautifully now. Inhale, the knees lift back to the center line. And give yourself a huge hug. Draw the forehead into the knees. Squeeze yourself tight. Scrunch up your face. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then exhale, release everything back down to the earth into our final resting pose of Shavasana. Take whatever you'd like to be as warm and comfortable as you can be. And I'll guide us through a little yoga nidra here. So just laying back in Shavasana, take a deep breath in and softly exhale through the lips. You can lay down in Shavasana and I'll guide you through a yoga nidra while you're on your back. Bring your awareness to your feet. Feel a softening in the soles and allow your feet to relax. Relax the backs of your knees. Relax the whole left leg and the whole right leg. Allow your hips and buttocks to relax. Take another deep breath into your belly and allow all of the organs to soften. Relax your heart. Let it rest between the lungs Relax your shoulders and let them fall away from the ears. Feel the energy flowing from your shoulders all the way out to the tips of your fingers. Relax your jaw and let the tongue float in the center of your palate. Relax your eyes like two smooth round stones sinking deep into their sockets. Feel your third eye receiving love, compassion, wisdom. Relax your brain. Let it fall back to the deep depths of your skull. 
Relax the crown of your head. Enjoy the weight of your entire body. Noticing the soft lift and fall of your breath. Like a leaf floating gently on the breeze. Feel free to lay here in Shavasana for as long as you wish. If you are continuing on toward meditation, you may continue to lay in Shavasana or slowly roll to your right side and come up to a comfortable seat. Prepare for meditation. You are seated in a cross-legged, half or full lotus position, or again, you may lay on your back or sit in a chair with your feet flat on the ground and your spine straight. Your eyes are closed. Your hands are interlaced with the thumbs touching. The hands are resting in your lap. The tongue is curled backward toward the roof of the mouth. Your spine is straight. Observe your breath for a while. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. You are seated at the top of the highest mountain, top of the world. You can see the world beneath you, planet Earth, slowly drifting away, getting smaller and smaller, moving into the distance until it is just a tiny dot far away. Finally, it disappears. You are now seated at the center of the universe. There is nothing around you except pure love surrounding and pervading you. Feel the warmth of this love all around and within you. You may now begin repeating the mantra within your mind. As you inhale, mentally repeat, Baba Nam. As you exhale, <clears throat> mentally repeat, Keva Lam. Inhale, Baba Nam. Exhale, Keva Lam. At the same time, ideate on the meaning of the mantra. Love is all there is.
prepare to close your meditation. Bringing our hands back to Anjali Mudra in front of the heart. Let's seal in our practice with a closing OM. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Lifting the hands to the space between the brow and bowing forward. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you and have a beautiful day.